friends, this is video number four in my series of homemade house cleaning products and today I want to share with you my recipe for a homemade vacuum powder. I wasn't really much of a fan of vacuum powders. It seemed like all they really did was you put them on your carpet, you vacuum them up and then it's left with this like florally potpourri smell. And I'm really not a fan of strong smells anyway so it really didn't appeal to me. So when I first came across this recipe I didn't really think much of it. But now that I've had a chance to really try it out, I really see how well it works and I really enjoy this vacuum powder. Um, it's really super simple to make and it's actually really effective. One of the reasons people use um, uh, vacuum powder is that they want to eliminate an odor. Maybe they have something that they've spilt on the carpet, you know, um, maybe there's a pet in the house and so the stinky dog sitting on the carpet made the carpet smell like stinky dog, things like that. But the vacuum powders that you get from the, from the stores, um, they just cover up those odors, they don't really eliminate them. So there's a lot of wisdom behind this particular recipe because it actually eliminates the odor rather than just covering it up. So um, the basic recipe is one cup of baking soda and then 10 to 20 drops of any type of essential oil you want, which is totally optional. You don't have to even add it. So you mix that together like in a separate container or a bowl or something. I like to use a fork to kind of break up the, the little dots and chunks that the uh, essential oil makes in the, um, in the baking soda before I mix it and put it into my shaker container. And then once you've um, gotten it all mixed up, you can use any kind of container you want. If you eat Parmesan cheese, then this is a perfect use for one of those uh, old containers, or if not, you know, any type of a shaker container. I get this from the dollar store. It has little holes on it. You know, it works pretty well at helping to disperse it evenly. Or even just like a spice jar or something else. This would be a good use, um, a good recipe to use some kind of a reused jar for. And so um, get it put in that jar. You sprinkle it on your carpet uh, nice and evenly and nice and uh, light, not too hard, or not too heavy, I should say. And then you can leave it for any amount of time that you want to. You can leave it for 10 minutes if you're kind of in a hurry, or if you have a really strong odor you're trying to eliminate. Even leave it overnight. The key is that you don't want people walking across the carpet while it's setting on the carpet. You want it to just kind of float on the top and then vacuum it away. If you start walking or anybody else starts walking on the carpet, they're going to grind it into the carpet and it's not going to vacuum away as easily. So definitely make sure you know, if, if you want to, you know, maybe do it at night or something like that when everybody's asleep and then vacuum it up first thing in the morning or when everybody's away during the day or however you could work it out. You know, again, you can just do it for a little while if you have just a little bit um, of an odor you're trying to eliminate. Or, you know, even if you just want to freshen up your carpet and you want the, uh, the nice pleasant smell, um, then, you know, you can just leave it on for a few. Uh, as far as the essential oils go, you can use pretty much anything. Uh, my favorite is Lang Lang because it has this nice calming and anti-stress kind of feel to it. Um, and it has that florally kind of thing that the traditional vacuum powders have going on. Uh, so I really enjoy that one. But other, you know, options, you, if you want your room to smell minty fresh, you know, that would be a good choice. Maybe some spearmint or peppermint or something similar. Um, another good choice maybe would be if you don't want to use the essential oil, um, just regular vanilla. Almost everybody has vanilla in their kitchens, whether it's, you know, the regular or the imitation. Just add a little bit of that. Definitely not too heavy. Uh, if you do decide to add essential oils, that's why per cup, I said 10 to 20 drops. Some you'll want to start with the lower amount with just the 10 because they are really, have like a really strong smell to them. So if you know, you start with the 10 and it's not enough, you could bump it up, you know, 15 and go up from there until you achieve the right strength. Because if you go with the higher amount, you may end up regretting it because some of them are kind of strong and it's, you know, we don't want anything too overpowering. But it's a really, um, obviously a very easy recipe. It can be as little as just one ingredient or two if you want to make it a little bit fancier. And it really does work. The baking soda absorbs those odors and it doesn't just cover them up. So if anything, I think this is cooler than the commercial baking or the commercial um, style vacuum powders. And those ones have all kinds of, uh, you know, questionable ingredients in them. And, you know, when there's kids that are going to be crawling on the carpet um, or playing on the carpet if they're a little older, or pets, you know, they sit on the carpet and cats and dogs lick themselves, you know, there's always that 
possibility that those chemicals that are in those commercial vacuum powders can get ingested um, or even soak through your skin even if it's just adults that are in the house and they're walking on the carpet barefoot. So I feel a lot better by putting something that's actually edible and safe on my carpet rather than some weird chemical. So um, anyway, I really hope you found this video helpful. It really is effective. I've used it to get out some pretty strong smelling stuff that's gotten on my carpet, like beer and things like that. And it really does work. So I really hope you found this video helpful. This is video number four in my video series, um, homemade cleaning products, and we'll see you next time.